Hello, I'm Tom Wharton from Kent Row Safety. I'm going to be talking to you about eco driving and how it can save you fuel and money. First thing we're going to talk about is tyre pressures. If you don't know what the correct tyre pressure for your vehicle is, you should be able to find it in the driver's handbook. If you can't find it in there, have a look just inside the driver's door and you'll see a, a little label attached to the door jam with the tyre pressures for your vehicle based on the circumstances that you're using it uh, on that occasion. Second thing is, when you're driving the vehicle, you may have been taught to use the gears to slow down. We try to encourage people to use the brakes because that's exactly what they're there for. To use the brakes first to slow the vehicle down and then, once you've got to the right speed, select the correct gear for that speed. You'll find that will save you an awful lot of fuel and it'll also make for a more comfortable journey. Try to avoid too much stopping and starting as well. If you've got good acceleration sense and you've also got good observational skills, you should be able to anticipate what the traffic in front of you is doing and adjust your speed just by lifting your foot off the throttle accordingly so that you can bring the speed of the vehicle down to an appropriate speed in order to negotiate whatever the hazard is. That requires a lot of planning. And separation from you and the other vehicles around you is a key thing here. Remember the two second rule, the gap between you and the vehicle in front of at least two seconds should give you a reasonable amount of space and time to actually take any avoiding action if it's required. If it's wet, you need to double that distance. And if it's icy, you need to multiply that by 10 times. Sounds a lot. But in the key thing here is if you've got that space and you've got that time around your vehicle, you will not crash. It's a very, very simple formula. Also, carry less weight in your vehicle. If your vehicle is overloaded or carrying unnecessary weight around it, you're going to use more fuel to actually move the vehicle around. Avoid over revving. There's really no need to go beyond about 2000 RPM with most modern cars. And once you reach that, uh, rev put the vehicle into another gear if you're going to be stopping for more than 20 or 30 seconds say at a level crossing or something similar then consider switching off and restarting again once you're able to move forward surprisingly modern engines won't use a lot of fuel when they're stopped and started in that way stop start, start technology will help you with that the bottom line is Ask yourself, do you really need to drive? If there's alternative transport that you can use, then maybe consider using that as well. And it will be quite stress-free if you do. All those financial savings will add up. Little bits here and there will make a massive difference to your overall cost of running a motor vehicle. And surprisingly, it will result in a lot less stress as you're driving, both for you and for passengers. I hope you found this little video helpful and enjoy your driving. Thank you.